think it is? It's called an anachronism. It was Amanda's. High tops don't fall off your feet that easy. It's been unlaced. I never imagined she could have survived. There was a lot of water. She still might not have. It tells the story of the last queen of Tiwanaku. Her father was king, but she was lost and raised by a warrior. She became queen after a shaman named Tunupa discovered her royal heritage. Tunupa is another name for Viracocha, their god of creation. The shaman brought her to Lake Titicaca, where she borrowed his staff, an object of great power. According to myth, Viracocha originally lived in the lake. The god of indoor plumbing. She led her people into an era of peace. After many years of wise and just rule, there was some sort of power struggle. She died shortly thereafter, and she was carried off in a boat to paradise. Remind you of something? The King Arthur myth, yes. The similarities are striking. King Arthur? A little help here? It's the same story. A youth, unaware of his royal blood, rises from obscurity to become a wise king with the help of a friendly wizard and his magical staff or sword. And afterwards, he's transported to paradise. Many cultures share similar legends. The Great Flood, for example. Everyone's got that one, too. is me. Queen's Shaman, a dais with a sword set into it, or in this case, Viracocha's staff. This is it. Do you believe it's the same one we saw in Tuanaku? There's more than just one dais, but possibly. So the Shaman would be Merlin, and the staff would be whatever the hell King Arthur's sword was called. It's called Coincidence. <laughs> Funny name for a sword. anything familiar about her sword. 
That's what Rutlin was holding. Except this is just a ceremonial copy. And what do we have here? The tip has broken off. My god. I had no idea it looked like this. I've seen this before, at Waseda University in Japan. But I didn't know it had anything to do with these artifacts. Yeah, I'll get a hold of them right now. It's not there anymore. It was stolen by Shogo Takamoto. Takamoto? Yakuza has nothing to mess with Lara. I don't care, Zip. I want that piece. Arrange a meeting. Okay, but... Hang on. I got Anaya calling on her cell. I'm patching her through. Lara! Lara, can you hear me? Those bastards from town are here, and they're coming down after you. Well, this is a tomb. I'll make them feel at home. Sorry, I wasn't keeping track of Anaya. I got distracted. But she seems safe for now. It's all right. Just let me know if our mercenary friends get me closer to her. Got it. How will you make it back with the floor missing? I suppose I'll have to take the high road back. I've seen a panther and a thing. It's hard to tell. Jaguar. They don't have... the jeep. Someone's coming. I hope you found what you were looking for because I am never coming here again. I was right. This is all she left behind. She got out and didn't tell us? Why has she been hiding all these years? Maybe not hiding exactly. Just not keeping in touch with old friends. Perhaps she found or learned something down there that she wanted to keep to herself. Zip, did you speak to Takamoto? Eventually. You didn't want to see her, so I reminded him how much you hate the word no. I'm a horrible conversationalist. I trust he wants to get together on neutral ground. You'll love this. He wants
wants to meet at Toto Nishimura's offices across the street from his penthouse. Nishimura? Takamoto doesn't know we're friends. Nope. All he knows is Nishimura's hosting a corporate party tomorrow night, and you'll meet him there. Better and better. All right, then. I'm heading there straight away. I'll need to find something to wear, though.